sampling with the quadrats from csec biology the cover page the number of organisms living in an area is of importance to man as we seek to live and protect organisms however it would be impossible to count all species on earth hence suitable sampling methods have been developed and tested over the years we are now able to use these methods to determine species abundance and distribution and do several calculations to ensure suitable use of the habitat. In this experiment, we will be finding out the density, population size, and percentage frequency of nutgrass. What is the quadrat? Let's have a look at it. The quadrat is an apparatus used to sample stationary and slow-moving organisms like plants and moving animals, example millipede. It is a 1 meter square shaped frame, however smaller types can be found. It is made from metal or suitable material. How does it work? It is shown randomly in the identified sample area and individual organisms being sampled are counted at each throw. The number of organisms are recorded in a table after each row for that row are a zero for no organism. The number of throws should be 5 to 10 percent of a sample area size. More throws will result in a greater accuracy of outcome. Organisms that fall halfway in the quadrant or more are counted. Calculations like percentage, frequency, density, population size are usually done using the data collected from the quadrant. Let's look at the lab to sample an area it is very important to observe the area we would have seen a road garbage footpath human activity plants and animals in the area the area is brightly lit and of course really windy there is also a stream in the area having observed the area it is important to identify what part of this area will be sampled. This is done by using flags to mark the area. The area is then measured. Having done the measurement, it's important to calculate how many throws will be done. Construct a table to record this data. Let's start sampling. Here we're looking for the nut grass. The particular grass is this grass. For the first throw, we have one organism. And as we said, it is recorded in the table. In our second throw, there is one organism. Third row, two organisms. Fourth, three. Fifth, two. Here, it is important to note that these two organisms falls on the edge of a quadrat remember it's it said that once half or more of the organism is on the inside of a quadrat they are counted so here we would have one two three the same is true here one two three four five The distribution of organism will always be determined by biotic and abiotic factor. For the area sampled, we would have observed that there are areas where it is affected by human activity. Garbage, paper, can, plastic, footpath. Biotic factors are the living component of the environment. And these would include disease, predation, symbiosis, competition, Pollination, of course, camouflage, all these will determine where organism decide to be. 
of course, the distribution of the organism. Abiotic factors are the non-living component of the environment, and that too will determine how organisms are distributed, light intensity, rainfall, wind, temperature, water, and of course, soil pH and water salinity will always determine the distribution of organism. Let's look at the calculation for what we did. We recorded this data in our table. We used 10 samples instead of 8 that it should have been. We recorded 22 organisms. The total number of species found in the area is the sum of organisms from all the trolls, which would amass to 22. Area, sample, 800 meters square. Number of individuals per quadrant are the mean individual would equal 2.2. We arrived at that answer by dividing the number of individuals by the number of quadrant. Gave us the mean to be 2.2 individual per quadrant. The density would be the total species divided by the total trough for the 1 meter quadrant. And of course, here we have 2.2 individuals per meter square population size density multiplied by area of land 2.2 multiplied by 800 would have given us 1760 individuals for the area sampled percentage frequency number of quadrat in which species is found divide by the total number of quadrat multiply by a hundred here we found the organism in all the trolls so it would have been 10 out of 10 multiplied by 100 it means that we have 100 percent frequency for the area studied our conclusion based on the aim would be 22 individuals per meter square 1760 individuals for the area sampled and a percentage frequency of 100 percent thanks much for watching please be reminded to like, share, and subscribe. When you subscribe, remember to hit that notification bell and select all. Leave us a comment. Did you benefit from this video?